Hello, I didn't see you there. Come on in. Welcome. Although the deal reportedly closed last year, only recently did Zendaya's new mansion acquisition in the San Fernando Valley come to light. While two multi-million dollar properties may seem like a lot for a 24 year old, the actress is no ordinary millennial. Aside from purchasing mega homes, Zendaya just made history at the Emmys, being the youngest to win Best Lead Actress for her role as Rue on Euphoria. That being said, she can choose to celebrate her huge win at either one of her two mansions, her starter home in Northridge or her secluded estate in Encino. We'll take a look at both and we even found the listings. Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman, who goes by Zendaya, is an actress and singer who began her career as a child star as a model and backup dancer before landing the role of Rocky Blue on Disney's Shake It Up alongside Bella Thorne. At the time of this recording, she's only in her early 20s, but the showbiz multitasker is not your average young star. She has a blossoming acting career on the rise, starring in films such as Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and The Greatest Showman, to name a few. Most notably though is the lead role she just won an Emmy for and broke records with playing Rue on the HBO drama Euphoria. If you've ever seen this show, it's an intense character to say the least. Thank you um, to the TV Academy, um, to all the other incredible women in this category. I, I admire you all so much. This is... Um in addition to Zendaya's acting career and her platinum entries into music, the former Disney star is a fashion icon and major league influencer with over 79 million followers on Instagram alone. In only one year, it's said Zendaya has increased her net worth by a whopping $10 million, going from an estimated net worth of 5 mil to 15 million as of late. It makes sense then that the young star would indulge on buying a second property, which also sounds like a good investment. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We've reported on Zendaya's house in the past, but to celebrate her Emmy win, and since she recently got a second mansion, we'll be looking at where she calls home, including her Northridge home, as well as a new upgrade pad she bought in Encino. You Zendaya fans can rate which one of her homes you like better down in the comments. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Big Sean and Zoe Saldana, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Now you moved into your first house yeah. right, about a year ago. <laughs> yeah. And will you have everyone over for the yeah. holidays? Yeah. So I, playing host? Yeah, I, I always kind of play host. You know why? Because um, my house is basically empty. When she was barely 20, Zendaya bought her first home and it's pretty gorgeous for a starter home, if that's what you want to call it. This Mediterranean style spread is newly rebuilt and located in Northridge, California, the north area of Los Angeles and slightly away from the Hollywood action. It's home of the California State University and located in the San Fernando Valley. The young star bought the home for $1.4 million and it spans 4,155 square feet of living space inside with 5 beds and 5 baths. The entryway of her home is detailed with custom iron doors, a grand entryway and vaulted ceilings. Zendaya says her fave part is the impressive peninsula stairway, which she refers to as a Cinderella spiral staircase. This is also the first home she's lived in where she has her own stairs, but hey, those stairless days are long behind her now. Throughout her home, there's ambient lighting, making it perfect for photo ops and selfies. We also know Zendaya loves hosting her family and friends, so the lighting sets the mood. This mansion has a gourmet chef's kitchen with marble backsplash and state-of-the-art appliances. Then, separate dining, living, and family rooms complete the main floor of the home. Zendaya's sprawling master bedroom features a fireplace, vanity, and powder room, and large walkout balcony. That doesn't include the ensuite bathroom either or the huge walk-in closet she has. The master bath is all marble and there's an enormous standing tub which definitely is the centerpiece of the room. Her whole master suite looks like it served her well for some relaxation time when she wasn't busy filming and working. Back on the main level of the home, French doors lead out to the expansive yard and patio. Aside from the grassy lawn, there's also a built-in barbecue with a tiled bar as well as a beautiful blue pool and spa. Shortly after she bought the home, Zendaya said she filled the pool with floaties like a donut and a big white swan. She told Allure magazine, It's the ghetto off-brand swan, not the fancy one that was all over Snapchat and Instagram. I don't have the Rihanna swan, but I'm getting there. 
Since she got settled, Zendaya has put even more work into this home and it's noticeable in the yard. When you walk in the backyard, the gate is lined in red flowers and she seems to have lemon trees out there too. There are other fruit and blossom trees all over as well as an additional seating area in the garden. Now let's take a look at Zendaya's latest real estate purchase in the San Fernando Valley. Although records show the deal closed last year, it's only a few months ago that her quiet purchase of a multi-acre compound has surfaced, for which she paid a cool $4 million. Tucked away in the celeb-favored neighborhood of Encino, you know, which has risen in popularity drastically over recent years, you'll find Zendaya's new property which sits on nearly four gorgeous acres of land. Her famous Encino neighbors include the likes of Selena Gomez, James Charles and power couple Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton, just to name a few. The entire spread is completely hidden from prying eyes, invisible from the street down a long driveway and secured behind camera watch gates. Zendaya can enjoy a sprawling main house, guest house and a pool area here. Inside her home spans 5,000 1,133 square feet with six beds and seven baths, so it's slightly bigger than her Northridge place. The magical property, as per the listing, offers stunning views, enormous flat land, hiking trails, and mature trees. Originally built in 1939, the sprawling ranch style main house has clearly undergone several significant renovations through the years as it's modernized and fresh. Interiors boast beautiful hardwood flooring throughout and a lot of white walls and accents matching the exterior of the house. There's a light and bright main living area with white stone fireplace, high ceilings, and glass French doors on either side to access the outside. The house also also has a giant open kitchen with granite countertops and designer stainless steel appliances, plus some casual eating areas, and throughout the home there are multiple fireplaces. In the master suite Zendaya has here, it's super roomy and of course has lots of light. The ensuite bathroom is marble with a built-in soaking tub, perfect for relaxation, and there's also a wraparound private balcony with floor-to-ceiling glass sliders leading you outside. Elsewhere on the property, there's a shed-like guest house with its own bathroom, potential bedroom, and kitchen. In photos, it seems that there was also a games room corner by the looks of the pool table here. Other estate amenities include a recently installed pool with inset spa and surrounding stone patio. There's also sprawling lawns and a circular motor core. It remains unknown to the public when or if Zendaya plans to move into this latest home or if she's staying at her Northridge spot. Records reveal she put the property up for rental grabs late last year for 12.9k per month, but the home has since been taken off the market. Alright, so that about wraps it up for this Zendaya house tour. After seeing both her Northridge mansion and her most recent acquisition in Encino, which home did you guys prefer? Be sure to rate and pick your favorite out of Zendaya's houses down in the comments below. If you're asking, I'd rate her Northridge place a 9 because it's just a beautiful villa and I can tell how much she loves it. And her Encino place an 8.5 only because I want to see how it looks furnished. I also recently did a house tour of my place on my personal channel and while I'm older than Zendaya and my place is much less impressive, it's it's still cute and I'd love it if you guys checked it out. So I'll link you my latest video and please like and subscribe to my personal channel. This is it, we're all moved in. Clearly it looks like I'm already living here. And this apartment didn't actually come with an island, the old kitchen did. So I had to order one, but I'm absolutely in love with this one. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour you wanna see next. I'll see you all in another video, bye.